Hello champions, let's get this game rolling, I'm second, the red player in this game and I immediately see what I could happen in Viana and he have the mark helps on their two borders to card. The yellow player captain Jigel, he is going for one point hold West Africa then I assume somebody might go for Gascon and one point hold spin guys. So yes, basically let's cap in Viana, I don't think any other spots would be better than it. So why not? So go for it. Though a problem might be if somebody caps and then rides. Basically that player would always be able to break through Trieste. Right? So the pink player caps and then Vargas. Though I'm not sure why. Because Scandinavia red has split guys. Well, overall here I see nobody capped in the loop corner guys. She could take over Iceland and the British Empire combined. That part of Scandinavia too and have that hold on there. Two borders to guard. The yellow player will expand right here guys. Will he make that blitz? Right, well, no, so that means that he might have already had that territory, or there might have been a larger army than just simply one troop. Right, and I mean, the green player captain Venice, guys, I only noticed now, but wow, above one pawn hold was Tavrica, guys, wow. Anyways, do not worry about it, guys, right, I just simply want to take over the narrow cops like that, and that's it, I'll make sure to properly guard my border, guys, right, I'll send... At this bump, and right hell and my turn. Honestly, honestly, could have gone for Iceland, guys, if I wanted to, could have taken over it as well. Right here, the green player said thanks, so hopefully, we will be good neighbors, guys. Also, I have to think what do I want to do, guys. I really want to see if anybody will take over Spain, guys. If nobody goes for it, then I might take for it myself. Or should I just simply expand to Southeastern Europe, guys, when I might try grabbing Korean as well? And that's a complicated situation, guys, but first of all, I want to see where other players are. Right well, the orange player is in Orient, guys. It seems like he came from Russia or Georgia. Right well, he is expanding in Orient, guys. So if I expand to the right side, then basically I should only expect taking over Southeastern Europe. That's the very least before I neutralize the orange player, guys. Is the pink player taking over Germany, guys? Right? Well, well played, pink. Well played. Right, yeah, should I be good neighbors with the pink player, guys? Or should I break through him to prevent him receiving additional troops, guys? Here is my question. Well, the green player is going for spin, guys. Seems, yeah. Yeah, so basically I could still grab Iceland since the British Empire if I want, guys. Or just simply Iceland to the least. Or could you just leave in the corner, guys, and that's it. Maybe the pink and green players would fight it out for it. Maybe I should just simply expand to southeastern Europe, and then fight it out with orange, right? Well, the yellow player continues going for this one point hole, guys. It's a mean, will he leave his capital to V, guys? Right, he makes it, guys, but wow, such a big capital, guys, unfortunately, I cannot get it. Myself, my position wise, my lo taking into account my location, I think I should expand to southeastern Europe. But also, where is a white player, guys? Could a white player be in southeastern Europe or not? I mean, let's just simply take over the British Empire and Tyson combined, guys, I think that will be my play. Let's go over here like that, guys. I mean, if the pink player breaks for me, then I break for Germany. And basically, the pink player won't hold any bonus, right? Let's fortify this troop like that, guys. And we'll see. Alright, so the white player just has five troops. He hasn't taken over any continent, guys. At the very least, not yet. He doesn't have any bonus. But we'll add more troops to dinner rights, well, guys. This is what I was afraid of, and... Right here, well, yes, he will finish taking over Southeastern Europe, guys. Could he be a problem to Orange? Because if he's a problem to Orange, guys, then I might not pay the attention to him. And the Orange player receives even 12 troops, guys. Wow. I mean, so in this case, I even like it, guys. But the white player has taken over Southeastern Europe because right here, he'll be shielding me for a little bit. But at the very least, the Orange player should first of all attack him, guys. And only then he'll get to me. So unless the Orange player will prioritize taking over the Russian Empire or something. Also, let's see what about the pink player guys and let him hold germany let's see if he lets me hold iceland and the british empire combined right it's unexpected plot this guys but the orange player butts out despite receiving 12 troops why would he quit i have no idea but do not mind that the pink player receives 11 troops total guys and he'll send him off his bump let's be friends expand to eastern europe pink or friends wherever you want just simply not into my bonuses Right, well, Scandinavia it is, I guess. Damn troops, it is hit by green, guys. Would he be able to take over the yellow player's capital? That is something what I wouldn't like to happen. As the green player would be in a really strong position, guys. But he would have a strong player next to me. I wonder what the yellow and green players would be able to balance each other out, guys. Right, and the green player expands to friends, guys. That's good. That's really good, guys. Right, 
at this bump. Let's be friends, Green. Also, did the orange player come back to the game, guys? No, he didn't. So right here might be worth for me to attack white man, because if white player is weak, guys. And besides whites, basically there are no other players on the right side of the map, guys. Besides the orange player who bought it out. Plus the pink player who just simply wants to hold Scandinavia by having Finland. But, well, I'll strengthen my capital by a little bit. Okay, the white player sends me a first bump. But honestly, I want to break through him, guys. Honestly, I want to break through him. Alright, so okay, he doesn't have, he doesn't Yeah, it's capital right here, guys. I'll break for orange in case he comes back to the game, guys. I do not want to risk that. Let's go. He, the orange player is still a fun, guys, but for safety measures, I think I'll guard my borders like that. But also, where is the white player's capital, guys? Is it in Russia or Eastern Europe, man? Because Orient must have been taken by orange, then Spain and France by green, Germany and Scandinavia by pink. So besides Eastern Europe and Russia, there's a potential cap in either Rome, Naples, Sardinia or... Third. I don't know, I mean the pink player saves 15 throws total, guys, he isn't in that bad position at all. Honestly, I should strengthen my capital more, guys, a pink player might consider taking it from me. Also, I know his capital is in Denver, guys, he might be locking a bunch of troops, which is a really good sign. Alright, five troops on that border, alright, captures a territory of green. Alright, is he breaking through France, guys, as well? Okay, good luck, good luck. The green player says the green player is for sure mad, guys. Yeah, honestly, this game is looking great, guys. Wow. The pink and green players are enemies. The yellow player is behind green. The white player is weak. And the orange player led the game. Okay, nice. Wow. The green player breaks through pressure like that, guys. Smashes those troops like that. Wow. What is he giving up, guys? Is he self-destructing or will he still try to win all right? Well, leaves 10 troops on his capital, just simply retakes over France, I assume. Yeah. 12 troops received by the yellow player, guys. But well, hopefully he didn't add them to Eastern Europe, guys. I want him to fully focus right here to be behind green. Seven troops received by us, guys. I think I'll just simply leave my troops right here. The pink and green will be focused on each other, guys, so I do not care about them. But well, let's take over both territories over here, guys. Right here are more territories of white. Okay, well, <laughs> this is where the white player is, guys. Right, well, good to know. Good to know. I'll teleport to find my troops like that. Five troops received by what, guys? Let's see if he breaks from me or not, because if he wants, he could certainly do that. But would he? Let's see right now. Wow. Fortifies those troops back to his capital on Moscow. Six troops received by orange, guys. The orange player is weak. The yellow player got wiped out from Eastern Europe, guys. I'm not sure if the yellow player has any territories in Russia. But maybe not. So eventually he will have to attack green. Or be skipping his... Be skipping his cards, guys. He stands better, right? So the pink player goes to attack me now. Wow. Right, well, that is an unexpected plot twist, guys. But I mean, I will be able to retaliate to the pink player back. On the other hand, the pink player might... The pink player might have seen what I received a bunch of troops, guys, right here I brought his attention by capturing all of those territories right here, guys, and the pink player had quite a bunch of territories here, guys, so maybe this is why the pink player decided to attack me over the green player. I mean, let's see, what about the green player, guys, will he break through pink? Be nice, something what I like a lot. The green player fortifies so many troops right here, guys, on the other hand, that's really understandable because he's behind yellow, but obviously I should put more troops to Vienna, guys, because otherwise the green player might even decide to take over it. That's why the yellow player skipped his turn, guys. I would skip my turn as well. But at this moment, I think I'll rather want to take over... to retake over Iceland and the British Empire, guys. But, I mean, let's make sure to strengthen this capital over here like that. Let's add more troops. Right, so let's go. Let's wipe out the pink player right here, guys. And should I break through... Scandinavia? Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Because I do not want to unleash his big capital on Denmark. But right here, he'll just receive additional troops for Scandinavia. On the other hand, three troops might not be that many. Right? The white player attacks Krasnodar, guys. So basically, here is the white player's territory right here, too, guys. The orange player goes to my A. He takes the last available place, which in this case is the sixth place. Because neither has been eliminated, nor nobody raised the white flag. That's what the pink player adds more troops, guys, to Oslo. He matches the troop number of Scotland's retakes. 
our German and doesn't break through the green player, guys. It tanks the green players. Us. So we pink. And green players might be good. Neighboring players again, guys. The question though, does the green player have a territory to attack somewhere which wouldn't be some of this continent? And which wouldn't be a, a territory of yellow because the yellow player might have those territories captured. Guys, alright, but alright. He goes down, loses 10 troops. Will he still try to car block yellow guys or what would he do? Or did he make a territory for a yellow player to attack, right? Alright, so the yellow player is manual roll. It's manual rolling, the green player is capital down, guys. Wow. Nice. Honestly, I think I should attack Pen, guys. Right? Let's trade on a set, guys. Let's put some more troops over here like that. More troops over here too, guys. Right? Nice. Let's retake over here, guys. And let's check out his capital, guys. I could not be that strong, right? And 10 troops. Wow. Didn't expect that, guys. Didn't expect that, honestly. Yeah, but I'll just simply leave my troops like that, guys. And that's it. Let's see what will the pink player do, guys. Because if he wants to crush that 22 troop army, guys, he will have to waste a bunch of troops. And he might put himself into a big risk. The white player trades on a 10 troop set, guys. Let's see if he potentially takes over the Russian Empire, guys. Let's see if that will be the case. Let's see if he crushes those 5 troops in St. Petersburg. Or what would he even do? Right, I guess so. Not much. Not much, guys. The pink player gets 10 troops. After he trades on Asset guys, and let's see what would he do. I mean, he can obviously break through Iceland and the British Empire too, guys, but right here he would have to break through the green player first. And he doesn't know what I only have one troop in London. But right here I think he wants to break through Eastern Europe, guys, through Southeastern Europe too, but right here 11 troops. 11 troops, pink, nothing you can do right here, so unless you want to do some more rolls. 14 troops received by green. Hopefully he isn't able to defeat yellow guys, because if he is able to do that, and the green player would be in a really great position, guys, but Right, he stops, guys. 11 troops received by yellow. The yellow player survives. He'll trade in a 12 troop set as well. Also, when it comes to eliminating pink, guys, I should also not forget that the pink player has a territory in Finland. So in case I go to eliminate the pink player from the game. Because otherwise, I could leave him for the white player, guys. Or whichever player who has territories right here. 22 troops, guys. What will I do? Alright, well, the pink player surrenders the game, guys. Wow, nice. At this moment, I think I should forget about the pink player, guys. I won't pay that much attention to him. So, right here, I'll just simply add more troops right here, guys. To kill guard the territory, I will add more troops to my capital, too. Let's just simply retake over the soul, guys. Let's shrink the border number as well. And that will be it. Five troops received by the white player, guys. He's in a weak position over it here. He might have some more troops on his capital in Moscow, guys. Could be a possibility. Alright. So he blitzes. Blitzes five troops, guys. Of orange. 14 troops received by green, guys. Right, but I mean... <laughs> the yellow player should balance him out right here, guys. And some then right here, okay. The green player takes over Netherlands, guys. He doesn't break through the noob corner. Really good position for us. 12 troops received by yellow, guys. He's locked behind green. I would be kind of tempted going after white, guys. But if I do, then I think the green player starts paying the attention to me. Well, right here, we might be chill. And also, the white player is being chill with me, guys. Even for I wipe him completely out from Southeastern Europe before. Wow. Anyways, let's add more troops over here, guys. I think. Let's strengthen right here. Let's strengthen the army as well, guys. Let's capture a territory of orange. And that will be it. I mean, let's see if a white player receives through bonuses for the Russian Empire, guys. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He trades on a 15 troop set, guys. Right, and did the leader just switch the two capitals, guys? Did the white player took over the orange player's capital, guys, or something? Might be it. 14 troops received by green. He trades on a 20 troop set, guys. What will he do? He trades on a set beforehand. Will he try taking over this capital? He nice, yes. Yes, this is what he do, guys. But he doesn't realize what that's a hidden territory behind Oslo and Trondheim, guys. Also, the pink player might still be in Finland. <laughs> yeah, so nothing you can do right here, green, but just laugh. Right, 12 troops received by yellow, guys. And before I taking the territory down in Trondheim, guys. Right, well played. Thanks. Right, here yeah, we'll check out, guys, Finland to see if the pink player is hiding in that territory. And if I eliminate pink, guys, should I start a connective green? There is my question. Because, for example, 
simpele pavantai, kad tai, ko vervės Denmark Capital be reizėlio ne be overhand, it's only word plus jie traps guys and we green player would be able to break through all of my continents, but at the same time I would break through all of his continents too. I think it's the yellow player bought and got. If that's the case, then I might have to go after green guys. Right here, let's trade on a set. Let's go. Alright, 7 troops of pink guys. Let's go 100% blitz. We last territory of pink guys. And here we go, we receive 3 additional cards guys. Let's go. We trade on a set. Should we go to eliminate the white player from the game guys? Well, it wouldn't be that much worth it. So I think we should go after green. Here just add more troops over here like that guys. Let's go, let's break through the green player over here like that. Let's make a troop spread guys. Let's go. Let's take over this easy capital. Nice. And I'll fortify my troops right here. Right, so white player will be playing passively, I think guys, he's just simply taking over the Russian Empire and that's it. Right, sends me a first bump, wow. Right, well, Red here won't send him anything back guys, not yet. Red here want to see what do I want to do about green guys. Right, yes, I, have, I assume he will go through Red here guys, but he might go through Red here for ensemble guys, he might capture some territories of orange. Let's see if that's the case. Right, green, let's see what do you want to do. Right, now goes down guys. <laughs> Is he going to eliminate yellow? Right, well, <laughs> oh wow. The yellow player is still offline. Yeah, but from what it looks, guys, the green and white players are playing for the second place. 14 troops, the seed best, guys. Let's trade an asset. Right, so let's add more troops over here, guys. I'll add more troops right here. Let's go. Let's see if we can eliminate the green player out from the game, guys. Okay, let's do that blitz, guys. Right, so normal blitz. Let's proceed attacking over here, let's go. Right, is that the last territory, guys? No? Right, so the green player has been eliminated. Right, well, let's fortify my army over here like that, guys. I guess I can leave a little bit more troops over here like that. Maybe I go to eliminate the yellow player next. If the white player is chill. Right, I'll send him off his bump. Right here, right, if you want to get to second place, and I can give you. So right here, I'll eliminate orange and yellow. Well, I do not even have to eliminate orange, guys. The orange player already went MIA. Feels kind of bad eliminating the green player right here, guys, but... I didn't want that the white and green players would be able to make a potential comeback, guys. If I had been waiting for too long, guys. Right here, anyways, let's go after... Yellow, let's adjust the slider blitz, guys. Right, 100% blitz, guys. Let's go over here like that. Alright. So that will last territory, guys. And yes, so let's go. He gets eliminated from the game right here. We're not able to trade on another set, so just simply for the power my troops like that. Basically, that army protects two couples at once. Do not have to put any troops to Jigel. Right, here the white player trades on a set, guys, and I assume he eliminates the orange player out from the game. And yes, I mean, he's attacking a bunch of territories, guys. Goes right here like that. Right, blitzes. Blitzes, right, will be the last territory, guys, and right, right. GG. Well played, White. Basically, from the worst position, you're able to get the second place. Right, and yes, please bump into my capitals over here like that. Wow, nice. Really nice, White. At 60 troops, guys. Let's trade on a set. Right, well played. White player says, well played. Good game. Let's see if you're able to blitz your capital immediately, White. Right, I mean, alright, yes, another couple right here, guys. I forgot about it. At all right, the last couple, guys, 100% blitz. And that's a GG. What a nice and sweet victory for us, guys. Two masters and three beginners.